Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are in Satisfactory again today. Behind the scenes, I was actually trying to set up the create mod for Minecraft for a little bit of Saturday fun, but uh, it ended up being a little bit more complicated than I thought uh, because create is only available for 1.20.1. And I was also trying to figure out other mods to pair with it. And there's a bunch of different opinions out there. And I thought maybe just a little bit more time would be needed to prep that uh, in order to get that ready. Uh, so we're going to go back into Satisfactory again today. I think it's going to be fine. We've got lots to do in the Devastator save. Uh, we've hooked up a bunch of trains. Uh, it's time to uh, work out a little bit more about what's happening as far as the decoration is concerned. We do have to finish up one more train. Uh, and then I think I'm going to tackle uh, either the, the train roundabout or maybe some other logistics. Uh, but we might be bopping around inside of spreadsheets and save files and uh, maybe even changing some colors so there's a lot going on in today's stream a uh, big shout out and thank you to all the folks that followed overnight there's a bunch of things uh, that came in while i was away so welcome to all the new folks that are following uh, blast jordan sweet sandy marcus hello how's it going hope everyone's having a good saturday oh looks like marcus is on the lurk thanks for the lurk mark appreciate it uh i need to move my chat room it is not it is not scrolling why was it stop scrolling uh, as a reminder, there's also a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out right now that is available at thecitadelcafe.com uh, as far as uh, links to things like either Apple Podcasts or uh, Spotify, wherever you listen, uh, you can find it there. It's all through Acast as well, so we're very easy to find. Uh, it was Johnny uh, from the Spawn Trunks podcast and I talking about Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, as well as Transformers 1, which I really liked. And I would encourage everybody to go see. Uh, Sandy, you're listening to that today. What do you think? I thought it was a really good conversation. I mean, Pix and I always have a good chat, but I find that for whatever reason, when Pixworths and I uh, talk about something other than Minecraft, it's really exciting because like I speak with him every week. He's a good friend and a, a good um, co-host and co-producer. But we very seldom get a chance to kind of like nerd out on the stuff that we're into outside of the render distance. Like we've kind of turned all of our conversations into part of the Spawn Trunks business. And so it's really fun to come on this, the Citadel Cafe and talk about something that he's really into, like Lord of the Rings and the Tolkien verse. Uh, and then for me to talk about things like Satisfactory and Transformers, like it was a really good time. It, Sandy, he knows so much. It's really cool to have picks on the show because I've got questions I, you know, there's stuff that I don't know, uh, and, and history and lore that I'm not steeped in. And it's really nice to have, to have that information, you know, for us, you know, um, on the show. Well, thanks, Sandy. That's really sweet. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. It's a weird day here. Uh, I've got the windows open, so you might be hearing Blue Jays in the background, but it's like warm and rainy. It's weird. I mean, rainy is not weird for this time of year, November and Nova Scotia is usually pretty rainy, but um, it's warm. Like it's it's a rather warm day, so it's uh, it's a, it's an odd combo. Uh, I had friends in Toronto, and they were saying that it was like twenty degrees after dark the other day. It's wild. Alistair too. The therapy of nerding out is invaluable. I agree. I really agree. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but um, I get together with a bunch of friends, just all the boys that I've gathered over the years. Uh, we get together once a month at a local pub for a couple of beers or a burger or, you know, some people eat at home, some people come down for a meal. Uh, and we're all kind of into the same stuff. And uh, Peyton, Stephen, James the Civilian, Alistair, uh, Alistair McFly, and I think that's it. They've all been on the Citadel Cafe. Either uh, Peyton was one of the people that started it with me. So we're all of that nerdy, nerdy mind, right? Um, Steven is the, the most regular guest. And actually to tease the next episode of the Citadel Cafe, or at least one of the ones that's planned, uh, the Citadel Cafe is turning 13 years old uh, this month. Uh, technically, it's November 17th, uh, but it's also um, close to the 13th, which is a Wednesday, which is our normal record time. So we thought the 13th on the 13th would be good. Uh, and Steven and I are going to be talking about the premiere of the second and final season of arcane on netflix so the first half of that will have dropped before we record and so that will be really cool to talk about um, i'm going to be re-watching the um, first season of arcane actually this month i resubbed to netflix
Dan Grace says <laughs> the Citadel Cafe is a teenager. Oh no, yeah, right. Really though. Uh, all right, let's flip over and get in here. I was bang on today when I logged in. It with a, the sun was down, so I thought I'd wait until the sun came up. Uh, so we can start playing in the daylight. Uh, so first things first, we've got to uh, raise the underside of this train to be on par with everything else and fill in the gaps. So I need to get rid of these old floor holes as well, because these ones are the bugged. Bug floor holes. Everything seems to be flowing. I'm not seeing anything backed up, so that's good. I will take that for a win. And this will be the last time we do this for a while, which would be great. And these are empty, but they need to be raised up. Definitely run into some frame rates when that save uh, auto save happens. these set up. four for now. I don't know what we could be bringing in here, but the future will tell. At least as we design this place, we know that it's all set up and ready to go. Unfortunately, we've got this weird floor down here. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with that, but it might be worth leaving in case we need to do any depth in the design below. Been using nudge so much, hard to remember how it was before nudging was a thing. I agree. Yeah, nudging is, is really, really handy, Sandy. They're really useful um, feature. I think it's also uh, unleashed a lot of creativity for people, too, and overlapping models and the nudging and the um, hitbox stuff has been key, I think. Okay, so I don't think there's anything left. Like, I don't think I have any belts in here that have been left unattended. These are all coming through here. All that's been accounted for. These are sorted. I think we've cleaned up this area here. I think the only thing left to do 
would be to add the belts before we remove the temporary scaffolding and I guess that would be the easiest thing to do so we'll just lay these in now should have started from the bottom So previously I had been painting these uh, the color of whatever resource was on them, and I'm going to do that again, but I need to uh, update my color palette for this save. So there's no point in doing that until that's done. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, and oh, we're missing one in the middle. And then we'll just add them over here as well. I wonder if it's going to be worth... Well, I guess I'll just have to make sure we don't hook them up on the back right away. This is that, a safety feature that I mentioned before of like not... Um, having these go to the wrong, the wrong machines. check that I should put some signs on these too they're all hooked up so you can see the giant rock in there so the idea here is that we're kind of hiding it and pretending like these belts can go through and still look okay so if there's a there's a panel missing over here for access but like you can see this giant rock so some of these belts actually pass through it they just kind of clip through it but if we close this up then it's not a big deal. At least I don't think so. Uh, so what I want to do now is get rid of this. I know this technically might look like belts that are really long without any kind of support, but we might be able to do something else visually to make it look better. I also want to put a temporary station in Devastator 2. I think that'll be worth it. There. So there's the main bus going from the train station into Devastator. I am liking that quite a lot. Uh, I also think we're going to get rid of this stuff here. Oop. Just to there. Yeah. And then along here, maybe we'll grab some of these. Well, that goes quite far down, doesn't it? We can make that look better in the long run, but for now, that's pretty good. Nice. Uh, I think these are going to go. I don't particularly love this thing. Although it's not the end of the world. Maybe we keep those. I'm definitely not keeping the pipe.
Hmm. That's not a bad look. Maybe we'll just continue that for now. Although it's higher on the other side. Hmm. I like the idea of these angled shapes. Hmm. And this feels flimsy. We'll have to add some beef to that, I think. Probably bring that out a little bit farther too. And then this can just be a regular ramp. Foundations. Yeah, and we can work on that. I like that we've got the river kind of being bridged here. What rock? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Sandy. I think my coffee is ready. Something I like about the French press is that what you don't drink right away stays pretty warm while you're streaming, which is nice. Um, I don't see any reason to um, not do the exact same pattern here. So I should pro I'm probably just going to bring this along. At least for now, so it doesn't look unfinished. Uh, I should change this to my standard. And what's the... I guess we'll do... Concrete foundation. Okay, so that should be good. I'm just going to copy what we've got down here. don't remember what the spacing was designed after. I think it might have been after the train stations, or maybe it was after, like, the doors and the ramps and stuff. So I'll just keep it for now. I'm not going to do too much different, I don't think, with the bottom design. Just realizing that this is not symmetrical. Yeah, I guess it was meant to highlight the door. That's right. Now we can get rid of this. Although it does kind of look good with like a double green stripe, so maybe we'll think about repeating that pattern. Wouldn't be a bad idea to leave some windows in here too.
All the temporary wiring we have to move. I am noticing a bit of a framiness now that we've got all the belts moving. I hope that's not foreshadowing of stuff in the future being a problem. This is the last of my fresh coffee. I've got to get some more. Normally I just buy a great big bag from Costco. I'm trying to remember the name of it. It's a Sumatra, I think. I don't remember the brand. Pretty sure it's Indonesian. It's good. I like it a lot. Uh, I guess I can get rid of these. Actually, I don't mind that black line. I wonder if we could maybe utilize that. Make this a little bit more interesting. This could actually have some depth to it, which would be nice. either four meters or two meters. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's not the depth that I'm looking for. Maybe what I need is just something square. Yeah, I think we'll do that. And I want it to be that deep. Could be a good spot for lights too. Okay, with that, I wonder how that fits in here, though. That's not bad. I might have to mess with that connection a little bit. That might have to go down lower. We'll see. That keeps it pretty simple for us for now. And I guess this could be a window. It doesn't have to be solid. I guess I could be letting some light in here. I 
I'm looking at all this here, thinking like it would be kind of cool to see that, you know? So maybe we want some sort of windows here. These are very transformer windows. wonder if it would make sense whenever there's one of these drops to have a solid piece here. does feel a little bit better. That's for sure. A little bit more structural. We might have to change the whole thing. It might be worth actually going from that to this. Um, uh, you know... I don't know. I think I kind of like the fact that it gave this gives it a heavier top feel. Like this whole thing now feels like the top of the the top of the platform. So I'm okay with that. lights need to get fixed too yeah I think it'll help um, having some light in the room too Sandy I agree the other thing that you know I think a lot of new players might take for granted is zoop mode you remember when there was no zooping in the game you couldn't do this and build more than one foundation at a time life was rough This might be a little bit off, but I'll we'll have to see. I think I did two at the corners. I'm going to have to move this. Actually, you know what? Let's um, keep that going.
Use a little chamfer at the end, like that. So I'll have to work out what pattern I want to do with this, but I think that's pretty good for now. The only thing missing is the lights. I don't remember how frequently I had them, that's the only thing. I'm sure I probably spaced them evenly, be my guess. I think for symmetry, I wanted this to be a half foundation as well. I think that's what we did down the other end. I also need to work out how I'm going to do this. This here. Maybe we just need to do slightly thicker here. same thing here although that's gonna yeah that's not gonna work here is it that ramp would come out too far yeah Not necessarily a fan. Maybe we can do something shallower. That feels all right. Better than this. And reflects the design that we have. Uh, in between the trains. I think I used um, beam connectors. to stay off the track. One foundation at a time when you were trying to build really large things was really tough. Was really, really tough. So we had a hypertube going down along here. Because the lights were up here. I feel like that's still probably the best way to put it. So we'll do a wall support. And I would say this is probably enough room to get off. We can always adjust it. Could also just line it up with the train, which would be cool too. And I don't remember how much, how far these things need to go. The answer is that far. I 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many foundations do we have total? I guess I'll have to put in the entrance first. I would say probably in line with this train would make sense, although that's going to be on that part, so maybe we'll bump it over to here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So that's twenty-three. So we should be able to do. We'd have to have just one in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And built. I think that's in the middle. This will make going back and forth a lot easier. And we need to power that somehow. This is where all of this will have to get redone at some point. This little um, ledge, if we don't decide to keep it, could be a really good place to run power. If we don't want it visually, then we can always cover it up. And that could be a great space to run power, because it's going to be right underneath where we need that to be. For now, though, we're just going to do this. I don't know what color we're making the deck up here either. Much faster. And this needs the same treatment. Trying not get run over while we're hovering around. That'd be bad. I think that's about where I had it. Dangerous place to work. Dangerous place to work. Alright, 
I'm gonna double check that this is in the right spot. I feel like I probably should have done this before. But here we are. So it's 28 in total. So there's one, two there. Started on the third. I don't think we put it in the middle. That's fine. Oh, I did. One, two. Put it in the middle. That's on the third. Better at this than I thought. I'm going to wait for the lights because I think I'm going to make a blueprint for the lights. 24. Did I start with the one selected? I think I did. Yep. So then one, two, three, four. So technically, this should be here. That was real close. Nice. I think we need these holes anymore. We'll make it feel a little bit more complete. Man, really is feeling some choppiness around here today. I hope this isn't foreshadowing of what this save has for the future. I wonder if it's the hover pack. I wonder if it's the hover pack getting its power updates. I feel like it's happening when I'm getting zapped from the power sources to recharge the hover pack. It could also be the trains. I think we'll color this guy purple for now. It matches in the build a little bit better. Two sections or one? Just copying the pattern that we started outside. The other side, keep it consistent. Not that it really matters. I may even not like it. Really can't tell. know whether we're going to keep this or not. Don't want to 
want to paint the train. I think it might be the trains. I wonder if there's an, any known lag with the trains. Does anybody know? The Wormbo. Hello. Good to see you, Penguin Dude. Welcome in. All the regular folks filing in. Great to see you. Hope you're having a good Saturday. There's a tweet out there. If anybody wants to share it, you can retweet. Or there's also an Instagram story sharing the stream. Feel free. We're always trying to grow the channel. If you're watching this later on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube, if you're watching it on Twitch, then you can always share the VOD. Or just share the Twitch channel. Uh, just like podcasts, uh, one of the best ways to get discovered with people that will stick around for new channels on Twitch is just word of mouth. So if you know friends that are starting their streams... Or if you have a favorite streamer, it doesn't cost a thing to just tell a bunch of people about the streamer. And we all really, really appreciate it. So far, great Saturday, says Penguin Dude. I dragged myself out of bed and grabbed coffee and then hopped on. Oh, wow. I'm the first... The first of your day. It's almost two o'clock for me. And we're going to wait until the sun goes down for that first break, just FYI. They'll be in, they'll be in sync today. So the other side has to be uh, half foundations here, so I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know why I made this asymmetrical, but I did. I don't remember. I guess this has to move, doesn't it? We will probably need to continue this part. a little bit weird. I think I took this right to the corner, didn't I? Yeah, I had um, blueberry pancakes for breakfast. I even made um, homemade blueberry syrup to go on top of them. It was awesome. And now I have to go back down the other end and I don't remember how we, how we sorted this out. That feels a little convoluted to me. I 
I wonder if that's going to be better as, as black. Some signs light up the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think what I'll end up doing is probably something like having these in here. Uh, it might even be bigger, you know? Maybe we end up doing... Uh, those are four meters. Two by one meter. Two by three. Those are really small. I don't know. Maybe this is just what we need to do. I wonder if it would be worth just having like a dotted line. Why am I losing all my altitude? It's charged. What the hell's going on? This is where I want to get the color palette sorted before I start doing like all kinds of details. But yeah, having the lights up high where we can see them, I think is going to be key. I don't know about every spot. I might have to think about where I want to put those. It might be better to have like every other spot. and then this feels a little bit strange here. Yeah, I'm completely falling for no reason. Like, just... What is going on? Anyway, dark out. Time for a train break. And I don't remember... If I have a train over here. I think I do. Train. Is that the brake train? Up we go. It does look really cool at night, I have to say. Oh, I forgot to delete those temporary splitters. to go. Turn on self-driving. Folks, I take a break once an hour. It is that time. I will be back in about five or six minutes.
just as the sun comes up, we got our timed today. And I need to turn off self-driving. So I think the plan is to put the top frame on the train station. Sadie says the puppy got the timing right too. Nice. That's good to know. Maybe what I'll do is I'll add... Um, is it hook? Yeah, we'll add hook. That'll get us around the roundabout without having to run into any trains by accident. Thanks for the lurk, Sandy. Appreciate it. So this is where we have a slight issue, of course. And that we don't have this set up quite properly. But uh, we will go and check out the other end so I can make the right adjustments on this side. Okay, I see what I did. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, let's do that. So it's two ramps, but then the half foundations go right up into there. Just eliminates the side piece altogether. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this top part is... That could be a four meter, I think. Yeah. Okay, that will simplify things. Starts there. Okay. Got it. This was a good idea. I was remembering yesterday that it felt like I was spending a lot of time running back and forth. So that goes down to there, and then the four meter half foundation starts at the top. But these are all asphalt. And that means that this, oh, nope, has to be lower. I think this was just low on this side. And then this can go...
probably better to do a half foundation. We'll just stay that color. That comes down to there, and we should be good. And then when we do the pattern, it'll show the black through it. This just continues along. Not there. Yep. Okay, good. I'm running out of power, though. Once you've got it sorted, a lot easier to repeat the process in layers. Build everything like a sandwich. And this will leave us those power trenches as well to run power and cable should we need to. Bunk bread? That's what ZF calls a sandwich? That's hilarious. I was actually looking at ZF's playthrough of Create when I was looking at how to maybe structure mine. And we'll just keep this simple as far as the color for now. I do feel like this deck is going to have to be something else, but for now. I'm struggling to figure out what a good um, concrete color is. It's like default for transformers. Like I want it to look like metal, but I don't want it to look like um, these. Like I don't want that, right? But I want a color for this that kind of re reminds you of metal. I guess it's probably the plastic one we'll have to worry about. wrong thing. I want that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I almost want this to go all the way down. Yeah. And it's so short over here, we might not even really be able to do it the way. We've got it set up over there. Yeah, that looks a little bit funny. I think we'll have to worry about it in this other direction. So we'll have these go here. It's probably the best it's going to be. It's interesting what you can do as far as placing on half foundations. There's some different snapping points on them. Now I have no idea how many of these we should do. Two from the edge. Twenty four. Uh, guess we'll bring this down along here. I think maybe I'll just do two. Keep it simple. Oh, crap. It's annoying. This is just the midpoint. And right now it's just open air and I'm okay with that for now. I think what we'll do is we'll just um, bring down the pillars at the midpoint. So where I've got this thing here, we'll just add these. And then we'll mimic that with um, upside down.
cool. Uh, and then, at the other end, let's do the exact same thing. Which is just turning the corner like that with salt. Okay. This is a full size. If I remember correctly. Oh, those ones don't have... Right. Maybe we have to do it this way. That's going to be covered by a ramp anyway. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm thinking too far ahead. Um, let's go with that. quickly. I think they just passed through it. I don't think they actually collide with this stuff anyway. This is going to get backed up a bit. That's fine. We can do that. Don't need that. there. We just did that solid over there. I think I made that higher. Yeah, there's a bit of an edge over there. Hmm. I wonder if it would be better to keep it low like that. What did I do? I went down by two meters, it looks like. But we have to accommodate for two tracks here. Yeah. Two meter. Let's get, this should be easier, actually.
be a cooler look. That sort of sticks into that, though. May have to find a better spot for that. We may have to back these up a bit. That will just continue right along. Don't remember. Maybe this is a good spot to have support. No, I guess we probably did run it right into it, didn't we? Out of concrete. Do I have concrete in my... I do not have anything going into the depot. No wonder I'm running out of stuff all the time. All right. Oh, I know where there's more. Can I get up this one? I should be able to. Yes. Hypertubes are fun. So one thing I don't have in that other playthrough, I, I have them unlocked, I never really got into them. Yay. silica while I'm here too. Where's the windows? Uh, metal plating, lots steel. Could use a little bit more steel. I feel like we have more steel somewhere else. And while I'm here, where can I put a... There's a train station there. It's not hooked up yet, and it doesn't have a turnaround. I wonder if I could temporarily do that. Oh, I know why I didn't hook it up, because obviously this is all in the way. Yes, 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 I'm remembering now. Uh, we could potentially have this go sideways. I don't remember how far this has to go. I want to say it's four tiles, so from here go one, two, three, four. I need to start to figure this stuff out and like get it memorized.
this is just here for show, I guess, for height. So, one, two, three, four. We'll see if I was right. It's probably not four. Oh, it is. Okay. One, two, three. Will it do it in three? It'll do it in three. This is the rough placement for the um, storage train station, but we should have enough t to turn around here, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just, just enough. I wish you could do this tighter. I wish they would give us like a train turnaround, like one of those platforms that your train could like park on and then it would just rotate and then you could just leave the other way. That would be very cool. Oh, that's on the edge. I guess it goes to there. One, two, three. from here there we go just to get it functioning anyway and this is going to be called hmm, I guess for now. Uh, P1, hello, welcome in. So we can take this back. And then this could be one of the stops on my brakes too. I don't know that we've ever driven a train down the main bus. But eventually this would look pretty cool when there's not a bunch of stuff in the way. 
see all the stuff happening left and right. <laughs> Obviously, there's a bridge in the way. Whoops. So here is where I would like to try to have some sort of turnaround. And it's going to be a little bit tricky, but I think we can do it. Uh, I like that we've got um, that as a consistent edge. And we have another one over here. So I'll try to center this as best I can. I think it's just from a utility standpoint, I think this is going to be pretty handy. So what have I got? I've got probably 18. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's the middle there. Nine. Okay. Uh, that's almost in the right spot. So what I think I can do, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if we go all the way to here, then we can probably get a roundabout actually happening here. And so we can go starting here. Let's go out straight. Delete this. And then one, two, three, four, five. I think it has to be six. I mean, we're going to want it to connect it to here anyway. And then the other ones would be here. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Oh, that's not. Oh, that is in the right spot. Okay. Yeah, like I'm totally losing my space here. I'm not sure why I keep on dropping out of the air. It's really frustrating. That goes to there. Delete this. And then you grab another one. And that goes to there. Delete that. This goes to there. And delete that. I think. So... This would be a way... Uh, I'd have to back this up because then from here we want to be able to go in either direction so I need another one two three so this needs to get cut down And from here, I should be able to go to there. Oh, that's not in the center. Crap. Did I do this one right? Yes.
Now, why is that not... Oh, because I, I brought it to the center and I need to bring it to the edge. I don't think this can be a circle. I think it has to be more of an oval. So if you're coming in this way and you want to turn around, you can turn around and scoot that way. And if you're coming in this way and you want to turn around... Oh, we've got a block. What's happening here? Oh, I see. Uh... need to add another block single. Why is that not changing that into a different block? really annoying. Okay. I wonder if this would be better if I... So if we turn right here I should maybe see if I can get it to happen over here that would be tricky maybe we have to bring it off of this so if I delete this and we come out this way yeah so that was part of the problem so one two three One, two, five, six, so maybe here. It probably doesn't look all that good. Uh, I'll bump it down a little bit. I don't have to, but it might just look better. So, we've got and that goes around that way. Don't know that we need that. It was a little bit more elegant the other way we had it. Fox Nakamori, it has been a minute, 51 months, thanks so much. You're looking at it. What's up, Joel? Uh, we're, we're trying to sort out a good way to have like a turnaround here. And so far, this is the cleanest thing we've come up with. It's not the best. Um, for example, if I, if I had somebody coming in here, there's no way for them to turn around in here. They have to turn around here. So I'm trying to get a spot where we can take this um, this way, but we can't because there's already three connections. So this can't be an oval or a circle. It has to be an oval. And I think we also have to figure out 
a good way to just like elegantly get this guy onto a second track. So somewhere back here, we have to scoot over and do a second track and then build this off the second track instead of the first track. So I, I really don't have quite as much space as I want. So a circle is not going to do, but we could probably do something a little bit more, more elegant. So I'll have to bump some of this stuff down. I'll probably bump it down by two. Right, so go to there. And then... Maybe... To here. That's too short. Try two and a half. So let's extend this thing advanced train things already lost me well so basically I'm just trying to get a spot where the trains can turn around because right now the only way to get in here and turn around you have to go through a station and if there's a train in the station then the trains get jammed right and so right now there's only one way out and one way in, so I'm trying to create a spot for the trains to have an alternate path. Um, this is just going to be a cross-section aesthetically. That's not the most efficient way to do it, but it is kind of where we are. Um, what happens here, and what I could be doing here, is I could just take this curve and take it all the way to this outside track, but it just it'll look a little bit funny. So for now, I'm just kind of working this out. Um, the tricky part is that you can't do anything tighter than a three foundation radius for a turn. So now what I'm going to do is create, there's going to be a curve here, then there's going to be a straight piece, and then they're going to mimic this thing on the other side. So from here goes, will be here, I guess. So there's our, our turn, right? But I've got to get this. It's got to get down to there. Which means that's too tight.
Oh, crap. Uh, one, two, that goes there. Uh, and if this was going to go this way, right, so I can't, that's the problem. I can't get off of this to go that way, so I have to come off of the backside to go down that way. So a train coming in on the right-hand side could turn around in here. And if I put this back in... This needs to go, instead of a point, this can actually be a straight section. All right, so it's no longer a circle, it's more like a, like an oval. So, right-hand drive coming in. You can go in here, turn around, and I'll connect you back up over there. And from here, that looks like that. And then this should be able to connect to here. And then a train coming in this way. And then trains exiting can just go straight through, no problems. Um, what we'll do is probably uh, bring this down to a point that makes sense. seems to be working you're just gonna scooch to that side beautiful and then uh, I don't think there's a need for a train to turn around this way uh, if we were to turn around a train coming out here Yet, the only, there's no real need for any of these trains coming out to turn around. It's only if this one wants to turn around. So if this guy wants to turn around, he will have to do it, I guess, at the roundabout. We don't have a way for someone to turn around here yet, so we can do that. It means it's going to be a little bit off-center. All I'd have to do is connect it back up to here. So from this point... We could do two, three. Oh, but that's got three connections. Right, so then that, that this is the problem, is that once you've got two connections, you can't, like three connections, you can't make a fourth. So then you have to break this track again. And that gets real close. To here so it'd be there so the whole thing might have to get nudged down a little bit but for um, I guess just technical use right now this is gonna be really tight And even that doesn't work. Oh, because this is too... F one, two, three. Yeah, we don't have that capability. We don't have the room. Uh, 
So yeah, I can turn around coming in this way. But I can't turn around coming out the other way. And we have to do path in, block out. This whole thing being yellow is not good. We want to have path signal here. But I'm going to go on a brake train. For now, we'll just do blocks, because that seems to work. And now I can put a train here, too. Uh, Storage. Construction to Megatron. Safe changes. Turn on self-drive. Once again, folks, time to, for me to take a short break. I will be back in five or seven minutes. You get to ride the train. Enjoy. I'll be right back.
Yeah, my bad. I forgot to put block signals on the um, the train. Um, I'll just leave this here. Yeah, there's no block signals in here. That's a problem. So that's one line there. And then here we'd have to have this separate as well. So now a train in here is not going to be on its own line. Right, so when it sticks there, it can look ahead and it's not on its own block. That's the problem. This is fine. We, we can leave this as one giant block because we don't want um, we don't want a train coming in here. Um, Unless we have to, so. It should be fine. I don't know. Um, I guess we have to do a couple of checks anyway. There's still a lot of really messed up stuff with the hover pack. Sometimes you end up like shorter than you should be and it's bizarre. But I'm going to do a quick test, actually. The trains are running okay, it looks like. That's good. I mean, most of them are just going to scoot out this way, right? Uh, but I'm going to grab a train. And we're going to try to turn around. Thanks, Fox. Thanks, Sandy. If I stick you here, so we're on this side of the track, and we need to go to, let's say we're going to go to Scavenger. Uh, that's the, well, we'll go Western Slopes. Save changes, turn on stuff driving. So I should go in here, turn around in the roundabout, and be on my way. Yeah. That's good. That's what I wanted. So we have wave four trains to start here, go in there, and turn around. Um this line don't know if I need a block there or not is that going to mess things up yes don't know why path signals are really hard to get right I guess this has to be a block. And that doesn't work. Hmm. 
<laughs> I think we're just going to have to bite the bullet and curve this over to there. That's probably what we're going to have to do. Yep, I think that's what's going to have to happen. This tower needs a desperate redesign. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it. It's really just here for my own use while we're building. Yeah, this was an error that I should not have, not have made. So let's go with... Um, Found a video that showed how to connect four rails. Used the H when connecting the fourth rail. Hmm. So you nudged it, I guess? Is that what you're saying, Sandy? Or the person nudged it? Oh, you just tap H. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, so if I tap H, all of a sudden, I can connect that. Eh, yeah, weird. The rail turned yellow. Yeah, no, I know. Ah, uh, no. Why is that? So the path signals really mess things up, and I don't understand why. I think it's because we've got this, is the, the incoming and outgoing is, they're facing one another. And that's, that's what I'm trying to fix right now. So if I back this up here, this will give me a chance to make a different length track. Right, so if I need to go... Um, I don't want to do this. Yeah, that'll be four. So I have to go from here to there. I can't do that. I would rather not swing all the way out to here. <laughs> Doesn't work. What I want to do is go halfway. So how do I do this? One, two. That's four. So two.
<laughs> well, this doesn't have to connect at all. Right? So I don't have to go from this position. I can go from another position. That's too close. Right, okay, that's what I want. That little trick there is what I wanted. Uh, that does not connect, I don't think. No, so that's not connected there. And that's too short. So this has got to connect over to here, which means that can, is not going to look as pretty, which is annoying. So that's the only one in here that's not going to look quite right, but there's nothing I can do about that. That's annoying. Okay, so that's right. And that's fine, we don't want anything to cover that block. So then, uh, in theory, this yellow piece should be a, a roundabout, and it should be... Um, this doesn't need to be here anymore. Right? So it's... Train comes in here, turns around and leaves. Train could also come in here, do a round and come back this way. There's no reason for a train leaving here to need to turn around. So really like this section, that section there is not needed. Um, so I can probably get rid of that. And simplify things. Right, I just needed to turn around. And so this looks a little bit funky, but there's really not much we can do about that. And I guess we just have to treat this like another path signal. So why would that say no? Why would that say no entry? Doesn't make any sense.
Still need to connect the single line to the proper side of the double line. I don't know what you mean. I just don't understand why the path signal is saying no. Because it should be fine, right? Like your path signal. You should be plotting to see if there's any trains taking that path. I mean, it's working. When you come back from, is it Devastator Storage? Um, that way. Oh, I see. This needs to be another... Needs to be another block heading this way. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Wormbo. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, I got rid of that, and I didn't mean I, I should have I should not have. Um I guess here. That makes sense. I don't know why this would ever want to turn around here, but I don't have the room anyway. And I don't know why there's a signal on this side. It's the same with this way. And I don't know why that's reading as no entry. I thought they were supposed to be green. Otherwise, I can't, I can't tell from here. Oh, I see the path signals by default have the no entry. Okay. So it's not that they're not working. It's if they're yellow that they're not working. All right, well then that makes sense. The yellow is a roundabout, so it requires some path signal stuff. And that's okay. I mean, I could tighten that up. I could, I could push this somewhere closer here if I wanted to. But it's working. That's fine. Uh, but thanks for this. Yeah, I totally missed this. That makes sense. Okay, I can change the ugly pink colors back. Using the uh, customizer to kind of paint out where your markings are is really handy. So not perfect, but functioning for now. Cool. All right, let's go do, down and do the other side then. I guess they're all just going to slow down before the path signal. That's the only downside, I guess, is that they're just not going to power through. I could just make this a block signal, maybe. Right, probably not bad that they slow down. So this has like a ledge to it here. So I'll do that on the other side as well. Oh, those are in the wrong spot, aren't they?
These can all be four meter. That stays there. Good. And then this. And then I'll just do the same thing that I did down the other side, and we should be good. Oh, these are going to cut into those, aren't they? Okay, so these have got to be half. That's fine. Easy to do. I still don't know what I'm going to do on the bottom, so we'll have to leave that for um, future Joel. Should be good, and then we can just take this long. I do again, I know I've mentioned this before, but once you've decided on what you're doing and you have a pattern, the speed at which you can build and iterate in Satisfactory really helps fuel creative decisions. Like it's it's very fast. You want to try something, just try it. And it takes a while, I I think, as a Minecraft player for so long. To get your brain out of like the oh it'll take so long to take that down in satisfactory it really doesn't it's a little tedious sometimes but it's not like time consuming penguins wearing tuxedos hello welcome in good to see you uh, it goes well it goes well Now, I gotta remember how I did this. I think this one is a four meter.
And then we had a two meter ramp. Now here, I think, is where we have the four meter half foundation. But it is coated concrete. like that's about right. Mind Trip Media, thanks very much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Uh, so close to turning on nuclear power now, says Penguins wearing tuxedos. Gonna make battery port for all the drones and stuff. Wow. I've never messed with drones. I do want to. But it's just never been a thing. So it was one, two, and then it's here. I think it's, I think we do 12. I need to go check the other side. Gotta build down this way anyway. So far, so good, says Minor Media. Good stuff. Yeah, I haven't looked at nuclear power at all. We just have so much, like I don't need to. See, why am I falling? So there's definitely two there. And then... Oh, come on. So, 2 and then 12. I think they just really need to increase the range. I'm okay if they put it as part of the game, like make us, you know, upgrade it or work for it like a hover pack mark 2 or something. That's a mod I might I might be happy with. Something that improves the the look of that. I'm wondering if I should change this to be like like a purple See, I kind of like that. I don't know if we really need...
Oh, that was close. <laughs> I think this is where I ran out of concrete last time. I think that's what I did on the other side. Two? Yeah, it looks like it. Here, it's probably not going to be worth it, so we'll probably just do straight blocks to there. And I'll grab this over here. Now, I don't remember what I did on the other side of this for these railings outside. Leaguer Gaming, hello, welcome in. A hybrid hover pack would be cool where you could use the fuel source such as a biomass or have it change from electricity. I think, th I, don't, I don't mind having to make a choice. I just, um, I would just rather, um, I would just rather have a longer range. Yeah, I don't know how to reconcile this stuff. I guess I I did a, the, the ramps down here, but it's on a it's closer this side. That's kind of tight there. Not much I can do about that. Unfortunately. Which side do we like better, chat? I think we might have to give this a little bit more room. That's good because it'll get rid of this actually. Left? Yeah, I think so too. 
Might as well stay consistent, right? Probably just enough room there for a light, so that'll work out. Maybe we can come up with some other kind of decoration there. Uh, and then here on the outside, we'll have to figure out how to fix this. I guess this will just be this texture. It's going to be a fight there, though. We can probably cover that up. Probably with walls. It's that or we run the gray down underneath it, but I think that that's probably the better option. Yep, I think that looks clean, looks good. Yeah, dealing with nuclear waste is something I've never had to mess with in this game. I have a hard enough time dealing with, like, waste products from, like, aluminum. I mean, we use wet concrete, and it's fine, but it's just, like, it's not something that I um, specifically um, enjoy, I guess, as part of the process. I don't know why I'm keeping this pattern. I, I'm not sure I'm super in love with with this. I feel like I was going in sections of two. I don't remember. I feel so short, even though I'm I'm probably at the right height. It's just that I'm so used to hovering. this really matters here because we don't have another entrance on the other side that's mirrored I don't think so I'm just gonna go with getting ourselves up to one for most of the length and then we'll just put, pull down a couple of areas just to kind of get it finished I'll worry about mirroring the design or touching it up later 
I just really want screenshots of this place to look okay, you know, and as we're driving in and out of trains, like, I kind of want it to look, look alright when you're approaching from over there. One, two, three. Hmm. Maybe we'll just do the same thing. We'll just do four. So it's mirrored. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then we're good. Give me a count. Why don't you give me a count? It's not going to be 24. It's going to be something larger. 23. Interesting. And that's it. Should be good. Oh, come on. I do find sometimes when you're trying to build super fast, like it's, you almost save yourself time if you just really take your time with stuff. You're not in a rush. open for now. On this side, I'll have to figure out another way to look. The inside is going to be a little bit tricky. Why, why, why? Just let me place. Oh, come on.
It's going to look a little funky in here. I guess we don't need these all the way to there. These we will have to switch to half foundations. this off and at least we'll have this top layer at least looking like it's got some sort of intention Two, three, four. Probably not going to be the same. No, one, two, three. That's fine. Same problem. Now it should be the exact same width as the other side, so this should be pretty easy. I'm just going to move this over so it's symmetrical. Should be good. Although, a weird color. I thought it was the right color. This is obviously all the old stuff that I didn't update. I think I like it better as gray, but we'll move it all to black for now. And that needs to be carbon steel. Break time, you're right. Yes, it is.
just about ready. Everything else above this should be new, so we should be good. Full circle. Nice. Feeling pretty happy with that. Stops the brick train. Let's go uh, Megatron. Devastator Hub. I'll try Devastator Storage too, just to see as a last stop. Cool. Once again, folks, I step away once an hour to give myself a little bit of a break. Uh, you should too. Grab a stretch. Maybe grab a friend. Let them know about the stream. We'll be right back.
All right. There was a brake train back here already. I forgot about that. Cool. Let's grab that. Hey, Canada Raz, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Game wants uh, to buy a PC so you can be able to play it. Yeah, it's coming to console. Probably not. Um, probably not anytime soon, but I think 2025. So says the developer. Lazy day so far. Nice. I I know. Relax in morning. I really had a nice chill morning, which is cool. No complaints. Oh, the train station looks so much better now. I'm quite happy with the way that that's that's looking. Not so much up here. Here still feels like amateur hour, but we're getting there. At least we've got stuff all the way around. I've got to finish the inside here. What did I do over here? This did solid. I don't know if I like that. It might be worth it just to have the ramps, you know? Hmm. Yeah, that feels weird. I think I like the solid green better. But down there, it just feels like a little odd. I did have lights on there too, yeah. Yeah, I'll be putting the lights back up, I think. I just haven't done the wiring. Sorry for the dropped frames when the autosave happens. I think that makes more sense for this corner. Was it two? I think it was two. No, it's just one. Okay. Wiring, it, wiring in this game is a bit frustrating. All looks clean and tidy until you put wires everywhere. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Out of plates? What? What? Okay. 
At least the top is a finished thought. You know, I think we're just going to do the same thing here. And then, I don't remember exactly... I guess they were in the middle, more than likely. That's more than likely what I did. Looks about right to me. And I do remember taking a very long time to wire these things because they have to go in a specific order. I guess we could throw a pole in between them for now. Then the wires are going to show up though. do wish we had half walls. That would be nice. Well, I can't believe it took the whole stream to get this even remotely sorted. And then as far as this thing is concerned, I think I may want to... No, that's actually not bad. Uh, I might want to take this open this way. Although... Maybe I want to go more. Hmm. Because this feels like it needs more support. this be the right thing? Yeah. Oh, that's not even coated concrete, that's why. Maybe here is where I have to start going down at a different angle.
Can use some walls. Yeah. There might be some support changes there to make this look good. Wish factories in real life would look as good as your factories. Well, thanks very much. That's kind of you, Canada Raz. Um, then you can clean all, all the wiring, and next time you change something you build, you have to. I had no idea where the wire in front of you came from and where it goes. Yeah, no, when you clean things up, it's really tricky. I agree. Yeah, so obviously there's some design considerations that have to, have to happen there. This is not going to stay where it is, so there's a few things we need to work on. It might soon be time to get rid of this tower or to perhaps stick one more permanently in this space. Actually, all of that should be black, right? There we go. Yep. I mean, it's going to take some, some work of establishing the pattern and what we want, but after that, we can just repeat it around. But that's good. I'm glad that we at least have this much going. I'm on the fence about whether I even want these lights up here. We have to come up with something, I'm sure, but... Uh, can you make a network of hyper tubes that act like a subway in real life to connect to parts of your world? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's hard to change directions. Usually when you change directions, this, you need to do some sort of like exit. So for example here, like I can go center left or right when I get up here, but you have to like get shot out and then in the, in the fall process decide which way you're going. So it's not completely AFK. Um, you could if you wanted to have multiple tubes going everywhere. This just takes us to the right side of the factory and has multiple exits. So along here, I can get off at this factory. I can get off at the next factory. But then the middle tube, which is down here, there's no exits. You only get off at the storage room. So if I really want to just get back there quickly, I take the middle one. That's usually how I roll. It's usually how I set them up. Well, I think that uh, the next thing we got to do is maybe quickly raise this bridge. Don't know whether we do. Do we raise it in here? Do we just put it up on another floor? Do we keep it? Do we need it? Do we want it? I feel like if we raise it up to here, we'd be fine. That would be enough, I think. looks like I did like a little half foundation trick so I'll just pull that up just drops it off on a different floor and then it 
looks like we did this. I like staggering the kind of the trim and the construction. It tends to look pretty good. Gives us at least clearance for the train. Doesn't feel like amateur hour. I always get really um, worried about deleting something in the background way in the distance when I'm deleting stuff like, is this really going to work? to figure out how to get to the other floor on this side. Super fast and easy. Oh, I should have waited and deleted that. All right, hold on. That's good. Unceremonious. Uh, and then completely unaccessible. <laughs> Let's fix that. At least temporarily. Good enough for me, for now. Nice. This is really just a good spot for really epic screenshots. Once we get the main chest plate done, I think that's going to look super cool. And then we are accessing this floor over here. Nice. So now I need to really start bringing over blueprints from the other save or the hovering tracks and stuff. This guy just keeps on like walking in circles, I think. Yeah, this is the only thing that's really bugging me now. I wonder if there's an easier way to do this. I guess I could widen this. So it doesn't look so strange. I need to go a little bit farther. Uh, 
upside down. Here's where it gets tricky. I do have this habit of like wanting to make things look um, kind of like good, even though even if they're temporary, I always want them to look at least decent. And this is one that does a little scoop thing, so maybe we'll stick this on the side. Not the greatest. like I could probably use one of the triangles. The Osha Spectre is lurking? Yeah, maybe. Good. I don't know if it looks all that steady, <laughs> but got flashbacks of the Megatron build. 
Trying to make things look big and sturdy. Sure, why not? It is just temporary here. I'm just having fun. Again, screenshots. I just, I don't, I don't kind of want this to look all right in the meantime, because it's going to be forever before I can get rid of this tower. a little bit more intentional for the time being. I'll just get rid of these. I may end up choosing a different material for that ledge. I don't know if I like that it's the shiny stuff now, but I think that that is an overall improvement for the plan for the train station. I think you can see sort of what I'm going for. Kind of that clean look with the trapezoid patterns. Bali, how's it going? G-Man, hello, welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Looks like dino trucks. I'm not familiar with dino trucks. But hopefully that's a compliment. Uh, so we have not yet finished um, the little designs here. But I don't know that that's the one that I'm going to keep. So there's going to be some experimentation happening, I think, down the line here. Uh, we also have to change the materials down in there. And I need to hook up Bone Crusher. So once again, projects of this size just seem to continue to scale and get larger and larger and larger. Uh, but overall, I think it's a much better look. Uh, now I just need to figure out, like, a good pattern for the bottom. Um, I think maybe a sturdier side. This was done so long ago. It's so gross. I, I can do so much better now. So we're going to come up with something a little bit sturdier, I think, for the edge there. And um, I like the windows, I think. It's just a matter of figuring out a good way to do them. That makes sense. And then this, of course, is going to be really tricky. That's where I think a bigger support there is going to be much nicer. Like, I really feel like this needs to be almost three foundations thick. And maybe the whole thing just needs to be solid. And then maybe we can utilize that as part of it. Um, we're not even utilizing this. This is just kind of going to nowhere, as far as I know. So, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that uh so this is where i'm gonna lead you, leave you for the rest of your twitch afternoon let's just see who else is maybe streaming satisfactory uh do, 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 do. captain e-rock is streaming 
Yeah, I guess I'll send you over there. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Captain Rock is a very chill streamer. I think you will all enjoy the rest of that. You can, of course, follow me on social media is Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. Uh, oh, my camera is frozen. That's not good. Just when I go to big, big screen. Sorry about that. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to see, very easy to find. Uh, usually Instagram and Twitter is where I post when I go live. I also post in the Discord. So if you've got a gift sub or a tier one sub or a prime gaming sub, you get access to the Discord as well. And that's where you can get access to my live stream notifications. Uh, do check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts. There are new episodes of each out this week. You can find those on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. And uh, check out the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. Very easy to find and uh, very easy to support. It's only $2 a month, less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, and you get to keep me streaming. So uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, checking that out, I would really appreciate it. You can also just tell a friend, totally free to bring in somebody else that you think might enjoy my streams. I have been putting together a series of create mods to get back into Minecraft that should be coming up in the next week. Uh, I just ran into some technical issues today before getting that off the ground. So uh, I forget just how much work there is when you have to set up a new OBS system. And I was also having trouble with the mods not working. And I was all my mods were set for 1.21 and all, create is set for 1.20.1. .1, so it was a whole back and forth, but it is coming. Uh, we will be getting back into Minecraft in the next little while. So thanks very much for your support. Uh, thanks, Sweet Sandy, for the um, modding help today. I'm glad that the puppy is doing well. Welcome into everybody that was new. If you're just lurking, I really appreciate the views and I will see you on Tuesday this is my next scheduled stream and uh, overnight tonight, uh, Nova Scotia, where I live, will be switching to uh, daylight savings time. So or, or back to standard time, I guess. So I'll be an hour behind from where I am now. So right now it's UTC minus three hours. The next stream will be UTC minus four hours. I make sure that everybody in my Discord knows the time change. So if you are in there, you will get a timestamp that is going to be adjusting to your local time for my next stream. One o'clock on Tuesday. That's Atlantic time. That's an hour ahead of New York in the US. I will see you then. Have a fantastic rest of your weekend and enjoy Captain E-Rock. Bye for now.